can be won and where the hustlers want to be. <sighs> Alex and Paul made it. <coughs> the dealer's there to ensure that the play is fair and these are the marks in the hot seats. It's winner takes all now. They don't know it, but the odds are definitely stacked against them. That's because although the hustlers appear to be strangers, they're actually working as a team. There's two more. The end of the first game. Spirits are high. I feel very honest. Hey, would I lie to you? <laughs> 20 minutes later, and the laughing stopped. The game has taken a more serious turn. Will this make you feel any better? Oh. I'm thinking not. As Alex rakes in the chips again, the marks are now looking vulnerable. They only have a few chips left. One of them is about to be eliminated. The next game goes according to plan. It's now between Alex and the mark on his left. I'll put you all in. Yep. You go all in? Yep. Thank Alex you, has gone all in, meaning only one of them will survive. It's all down to who has the better hand. Oh. Full house kings over. Full house. Alex yeah. wins. This guy is the first yeah, casualty of the game, but how did Thanks, they mate. beat him? One of the most dangerous things you'll come across on the card table is two people playing in collusion. Essentially what that means is they're playing out of the same pot because they're sharing the money. If they manage to signal each other's hands, they're playing the best hand available to the team at the time. So essentially you're playing against one player with a massive stack of money. When people collude, they do it in various levels. Sometimes they just signal the quality of the hand. So a simple, put your hand here, it's a very good hand. Put your hand here, it's a medium hand. Take your hand off, it's not a very good hand at all. We didn't just signal the quality of the hand, we actually signaled exactly what we were playing. So we always knew who had the best hand. If I were just to pitch a couple of cards to Alex, whatever he's got there, I would look at my own cards, I would then look over to see what Alex is doing. The position of Alex's hands is a prearranged signal that tells Paul what he's got. Ace King suited. So, in other words, an ace of king, both the same suit. There we go. Which is exactly what he's got. Now, with that kind of information, if I don't have anything as good as that, I'll throw it away. And I know that between the two of us, we're playing the very best hand. 